Hello, I'm Interesting, and welcome back, of course, to Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, our wall is looking pretty damn good. It goes all the way around. It's pretty high and pretty mighty. We could do with expanding it a little bit. So, last episode I asked if you want me to continue playing for a little bit longer. The general consensus was, yeah, we'll play for a bit longer. We'll see if we can actually get the entire island covered and then see what happens. Because so far, when enemies have landed, they've actually had to land on land. And if we get all the land covered, what are they going to do? Are they going to actually be able to attack me? I think that's worth finding out. We'll need a lot of stone for that, and we have some stone, not quite enough yet. So, wow, that draw distance is... Has my settings changed? I mean, this says it changes every time, but I don't think it does. I think it's lying to me. Other than that, it's all the same. That draw distance looks really short. Maybe it's just the snow. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination, but that draw distance looks really weird today. I can't see my place. Oh, oh okay. Uh, Viking invasion. Hello. Well, it looks like we're going to be testing out our new walls a bit sooner than I'd really anticipated. What if we were to sink any of the boats? Wait, are you going directly at my wall? Or are you going to turn? Are you going to turn? Ah, they are turning. I mean, it's not so much turning as bumping gently into the ground. But that's sort of turning. No ogres so far. Which is interesting. I'm not sure how they're planning to get through my wall without an ogre. Or if they plan this at all. That seems less than last time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, you landed. Literally one person. That's a long way to march. I mean, not that I wish to give you military advice, but you're marching an awfully long way. I presume you're going for the gates. Doesn't seem to actually close the gate. So... Hmm. And a dragon. What type of dragon? A red. Okay, so that can actually do some damage. Another one went down. Another went down. Are you actually going to get inside? Not even inside the walls. And the dragon died on top of the water. Uh, I would consider that to be a pretty big win. Vikings didn't even get inside the walls. Dragon, dead. Pretty good. They're only excited about the dragon kill, not excited about Vikings dying. My guess is that the draw distance cuts itself off a little bit. Maybe as your town gets larger, or maybe I'm just imagining it. Either way. Uh, you know what, we'll just go this way with it. We'll put piers here. Um, we'll put a pier here. We'll have to chop these woods on the edge. Chop you. Chop you. And then we'll get a fully surrounding wall going on. Right. It'll be under town, pier. Uh, we're going to need to put a wall here, so we might as well put piers. The reason we're going to have to put a wall there is if we don't put a wall there and we put the wall back, everyone's just going to land here. Whereas I want to actually see what happens if you cut them off completely. Uh, we'll also put pier, pier. We've got the resources, we'll simplify everything. And there. 
We should also probably put a gate in over here so that people can get in and out more easily. Uh, that said, I'm not actually sure where we'd... I guess we demolish this well. And we put the well, like, here instead. And then... Road. Demolish. 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 Demolish all button would be nice. There we go. And then we'll put a stone gate back on top. Sweet. People are still dying from starvation despite the fact there's a lot of food around. Trying to figure out why that is. Do we need more bakeries or something or... We've got a market right here. It's got food available for pickup at the market. What about over here? Mmm, less food. Do we need a market around here? Too far away or none available on food. Same for charcoal. Okay, so maybe you want a market here. Gonna demolish a house. I know people are gonna complain and be like, oh, why are you demolishing my house? Etc. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm a tyrant. I can do what I want. I can do what I wanna. Can leave your friends behind. But if you can't dance, then you can't dance, and you're no friend of mine. Right, you have an army. Position you over here. I cannot remember where I put my other army. That's something I'd like in the game, like little like flags appearing here for each army so you can like hot click on them. Whereas it, as it is at the moment, you have to remember where you put your army or you manage to lose an entire regiment of people. Seems a little bit weird. Um, so one army's there. I don't know where the other army is. Do we actually still have another army? Yeah, we do. Here. Okay. Put you over here. Right. Just a small castle wall for the moment. Can it build on water? We're working on that. Plenty of stone. I think we can pull this off. And then the question is, how are they going to attack us? Like, are Vikings just going to go round and round and round? Or are they going to stop attacking us or what? Or are they just going to get out in the sea next to us? It's these questions that I like in gaming. How have the devs designed this so I can't abuse the system? Or can I abuse the system? That's the big question. Have we done this over here? We have. Right. Castle block. Castle block. Uh, we should also probably put down a bridge. Oh, for God's sake. A road, then a bridge, if you insist. Why Why did it stop me building? There we go. Now they should be able to get over that river pretty easily. Nearly done with that. Alright. Old age, deaths, that's fine. Um, we'll need a new district for people to live in. I'm thinking over here because it's not particularly great like land for growing stuff. Here will be great land for growing stuff. And in fact, we'll probably just start like a mass deforestation of this area to be able to turn it into more growing land. There we go.
I like how we, because we've got this organic growth, we've got sections of the city all kind of walled off with different levels of walls and different, like, what would you call it? Encompassingnesses? Like, certain walls don't encompass it all the way. Like, there's a gap here where there's water. Uh, oh, God. 81 peasants were taken ill. I'm not sure we have the hospital capacity for that. Then again, we don't have, like, universal health care. Or do we? We actually... Oh, my God. We're weird. We actually have universal health care because we've got hospitals anyone can go to. And they don't get charged. I mean, admittedly, they are my serf, so I kind of own them. So I guess I want them in good health. Because, you know, they're working for me. They're always working for me. That's how serfdom works. So I guess I want them in good health. Makes sense. Look at all the people. Oh, it's because we have so many people free. They're not really free. Oh, festival. Then they'll forget all about their dead friends. I don't have enough hospitals around. Like, I don't... What? Why are people dying of starvation? Come back here. Can't find out where they're dying of starvation. Can't click on it. Can't do anything. This game lacks in-depth features to be able to sort of dig down and find out what is going wrong. I understand why. It's a very, um... Like, arcade style game. Like, it's not got super high controls or super in-depth tactics. It's not particularly tough. But they've certainly, like, got a few issues where it's just like, why is this not working? Oh, I can't find out because there's no actual controls for that. Are you going to set things on fire? Are you just going to die? Oh, you're going to run away? Oh, no! Oh, God. Didn't destroy the manor. Damaged it. That's one of the areas where our actual, like, masons are going to come in handy. Masons very rarely do much. Because they only work on things that are damaged, and most things are just destroyed. Like, fire doesn't damage a structure. It either destroys it, or it gets put out. Which is kind of weird. We could also put more houses down by, like, paving over this area here. Which is, you know, definitely not going to go wrong. There's nothing that could possibly go wrong if you pave over a large area with medieval-era technology. No, no, no issues whatsoever. Meanwhile, how are we doing? Uh, this area here is probably the biggest open area to put like a large amount of stuff in. Yeah, we'll do that. Here. Again, this individual clicky system, when I want to do large areas, much like when you're wanting to like deforest a large area, can be a bit tedious. And we are out of nothing, actually. Why Why did it stop me doing that? We're not out of anything. I think it's... I was out of stuff when I started, but while I was clicking, we gained more stuff, so it's fine. I think that's how it's working. Now, now we are out of stuff. One peasants have died of plague. Incorrect pluralization there. If number equals one, then peasant, otherwise peasants. And the wool's nearly done. I'll throw another festival to make people happy. It's the one thing that kind of applies globally is that you can have one town square, and no matter how large your entire realm, everyone can fit in that town square to be happy. Well, they might not need to fit in the town square. Maybe they just need to be, like, you know, heard of the festival and be like, Oh, it's nice that they had a festival. That makes me happy. I don't know. But either way, it's one of the few things that works actually effectively globally as opposed to regional. Like, you know, everyone needs their own bakery. Everyone needs their own church, etc. Blah, blah, blah. But one town square is sufficient, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Resources are quite low now. Building piers is expensive. Like, what piers again? 25 wood, 50 stone, 10 gold. Yeah, so we can build, like, what? Four, five more? Nah, eh, we'll just leave it like that. They'll be done last anyway, because we're focusing on walls. They do them in order that you place them, so... They'll be doing this road now. They'll do this wall at the same time. And I'll be finishing this last bit off here, because that's the last thing I did before paving over that area. Oh wow, that's even more peasants. 135 being taken ill. 
Yeah, I certainly do not have enough hospitals to deal with that. I mean, we could try and fit like one in. But that involves kicking people out of their houses. Which, you know, I'm totally fine with and is like an evil uh, tyrant. But they're unproductive if you kick them out of their houses. Uh, I'm gonna say. Sure. We're also really low on charcoal. Oh, oh my god, a tree grew in the same moment that I. Ah! That's getting on the side of ridiculous now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, another tree. Uh, another tree grew. Oh god, click away! There we go. Is anyone going to cut this tree down? No? Oh my god, you're kidding. Ah, ah, I told you trees are my enemy. We also need far more charcoal. I'll probably put some charcoal places down in a second. Oh my god. Yeah, trees just... You can't stop them. It's the unstoppable march of the trees. The trees are the biggest enemy. It's not the Vikings or anything. It's damn trees. Get some more charcoal makers over here. Like, far away from any wells so that the fires can be... This sounds like a terrible plan. Why am I doing this again? Uh, not near the houses. That'll do. I mean, technically we put a quarry there, but whatever. Still haven't chopped those trees. The wall is complete. Now we're doing the piers. So we'll need more wood before we finish those off. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Fifteen. Fifteen times twenty-five. Well, we might we might be okay. I think we're gonna be just shy by like two. One, okay. Come on, get that wood up. Not that way. Uh, I should not speak. Um, right, come on. There we go. Oh my god. So many trees. Broken that forest is temporarily. Right. Yeah, that's max tree. The six tiles here that could have trees in them now have trees in them. Great job. At least the pier's going nice. The problem is that the piers take so many resources that you've got people bringing a lot of resources just to get one tile built. So unlike walls, which are fairly simple by comparison, they're going to be doing that for a little while. Which is a shame. Could shut other stuff down, but yeah. Also, our food supply is really kind of iffy right now. I really wanted to cut this area down so that we could get that going with some food, but I guess people don't prioritize chopping. They prioritize building first. Which kind of sucks. People are going to starve. Oh, hello, dragon. Just don't land on anything delicate. It's not a red one, so... Okay, it's running. 
It should die on top of a tower. Fair enough. I mean, it went through the tower. Oh, look, we chopped one tree down. That's just going to regrow any second because trees breed like rabbits. Which is an odd image. Not recommended. I like the music change there. It went immediately from dragon to... Oh my god, more people are dying. There's like 240 people being taken ill with the plague this year. I'm trying to build a hospital. I really am. But the trees keep breeding. Could the trees have a plague? I'd love a tree plague. And people are dying of starvation. I do my best, but... You can't stop them dying. Maybe they deserve to die. Maybe we should just let the Vikings invade and murder them all. There we go, third people died of plague. Yeah, it's double number of people who've died of plague is your negative to happiness. So we're getting massive negatives right now. And yet the trees are breeding. And of course the people who die get their jobs taken by the people who are spare, which means that there's no one to actually bring the stuff to these piers, which means there's no one to cut trees down. Which means the trees keep breeding again. And this appears are nearly all done. We have covered the entire area. Yeah, we have. Okay, we're good. Just checking there wasn't any like little gaps in our wall or anything people could land at, because I've ruined the experiment. Oh, 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 they've chopped two of the trees down out of four, which means that the others are going to re- There we go. I called it. I goddamn called it, didn't I? We're going to go to a low tax rate for now. We'll lose per year, but it'll make people happier. Two out of four again on the trees. Come on. I believe in you. Okay, I don't believe in them. I think they're going to fail me, and I imagine a tree's going to pop up any second. Which it does. It's also annoying that when the tree pops up, you can't chop it until it's fully grown, despite the fact the animation is just... Immutable, like the animation will happen as soon as it starts. You can't stop it. Pause. Yes! Build a hospital. Whew. That was annoyingly difficult. Uh, we will also put down rock removal there. And removal there. That's going to be our new inhabited zone. We'll chop some trees here to get an access road going through. Which sounds awfully, like, proper. Oh, we'll chop some trees down to get an access road going through here. Yes, uh, we need an access road through this area, so we're going to chop down your natural beauty. Yes, yes. I think I make a good tyrant. That sounds awfully ominous. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on that here. That doesn't sound safe. That really doesn't sound safe. Where are we going to pave over next? Probably up here. This is a big area. And it's got fairly good links. We could just put something through here. Could chop down that little wall there. That's going to take a lot of room. Diagonal walls take up twice as much room, effectively, because you've got up and across. And there's a room there for a road. How are we doing? Still working on that. Well, we can start planning out. So if we were to do this... That would be houses, houses. And 
One, two, one, two. We need to chop that one down as well. And then go up there. I guess there's a few rows of houses going on. Yeah, work on that tile now. It's going to be quick on the wall when it goes down. If it goes, there we go. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get some manners going. One, two, three. We'll also want a library. We'll want a hospital. A baker. Uh, another manor. Another manor. Another manor. Another manor. Another manor. And then in the center there, we'll have ourselves a market. And then a well. There we go. That should be a nice little district. I mean, apart from the fact that if you fall through the floor, you will end up underneath everything. But I guess it's got natural running water. So, you know, when you dump your chamber pot out, you can just dump it directly into the water below you, which... Is it flowing water? I don't know, that looks like there's a gap there, so it might be flowing. Ooh, that was awfully loud. Oh, uh, have I got zero money? I've got zero money. People are on strike. Raise the tax. There we go. You know, temper... Temper... God damn it, I want to select the... There we go. Temporarily, we'll raise the tax rate to three, just so we can actually get some money back in. Dragon. I hope people are still working. Yes, they are. Good. Hello, dragon. Bye-bye, dragon. We'll need more gold if we're going to do more piers, because piers cost gold. What we could do is start deleting this wall here, because it's so inefficient, this wall. Can I just hit delete? No. There's no hotkeys, apparently, either. There we go. And then we can pave over this area. We've got a church nearby, so that should provide some pretty good aura. Uh, we could maybe do a hospital up this area, so we can put a hospital in. I think we're pretty good. We've got charcoal spare. Good. Okay, I'm liking it. I think we're in a good position here. Right. Uh... Why did it stop allowing me to place? I really never get that. I definitely had resources spare when we started. Alright, do that bit for now. I want to check in over here. Yeah, got a few trees that have grown back. But this should be a pretty nice area to actually turn into farmland. And we'll do the same system we did over here, which is every... What, one in... One in four, is that? Yeah, every one in four is a windmill. And that should work nicely. We will need to chop these trees down, though. And we'll chop some down over here so we can, like, link these up. 
if only temporarily with Rhodes. Yeah, I've got loads of beds coming in now. for a little festival, make people happy. But I think what we'll do is we'll call it here for this episode. So next episode, we're going to focus on paving over some more areas, see if we can actually get attacked by Vikings. Someone put this damn fire out. Thank you. And we'll also look at actually expanding our food supply right now because it's positive, but it's going down quickly as we move away from winter, which I think is going to be an issue. I think we're going to hit zero again and people are going to starve. We'll see. For now, though, I've been really If you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.